Gato Squad. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Elias, and if you are new here, hit that button below, subscribe if you'd like daily car content. As you can see next to me, I have a Civic Si, and I have my buddy here, Mugetsu. Take a look at that name. He's also on YouTube. Uh, I know him as Ronald, but um, for you guys, he's Mugetsu, and uh, we're gonna talk about a Civic Si. We're gonna take a little drive around. We're gonna take a look around. So let's go get started. All right, so let's talk about the this car real quick with the owner. Uh, tell me all about the car, when you got it, why you got it, and the the modifications. So let's start when when you got it. Cool. So this is my SI. <laughs> it's my FB6. I got it roughly around uh, the beginning of last year. Mm -hmm. um, basically, I had it because before I was running the uh, Mazda 6 that I did a lot of work to. Basically, I got really fed up of dealing with old cars so I was like you know what let me just get something somewhat new uh, I ended up at the dealership with my dad and he was like hey why don't you check that one out and it was just sitting there in the showroom and it was meant to be nice man so what's going on with this number right here so this is a custom track plate made for me by uh, Jason shout out to Jason Jason who uh, Jason Aranas he's a Filipino guy from LA he uh, does some pretty good work if you guys want to hit him up Nice. Uh, just hit him up on Facebook. Look at that flag right there, Dominican Check flag. <laughs> he needs to get me something like that, but like a magnetic one, so I can put it on and off with Type R. It's magnetic. Check it out. Oh, it is. I need something exactly like that. That's awesome. So uh, the car looks lowered. What you got in the suspension? For suspension mods, I have uh, BC Racing BRs. Um, right now, I am saving to get a progress rear sway bar, so I can make the rear like kind of break out a little bit. Nice. And besides the suspension, I got the NVIDIA Q300 catback. Oh, I can't wait to hear that in a bit. Uh, that's going to be awesome. That's a Mugen 8th Gen SI wing that I got from Dapper SI. This is Mugen? Yeah. Carbon nice. fiber. Nice. Uh, and how about the interior? See, you got this uh, weird looking stick shift here. What's that so for? That is my TWM uh, shifter extension. I'm actually going to pair that with a short shifter soon. Um, I also got my Pioneer head unit and my parent gauge pod with uh, boost and AFR. I'm actually collecting parts now so I can um, go turbo soon. And uh, besides that, the car is pretty much stock. So uh, let's go ahead and take a quick ride as uh, we are losing light and it looks like it's about to rain. So uh, let's go have some fun. All right, guys, we are doing this in low light. Unfortunately, the clouds are not cooperating with us. We got full cloud cover, so. It is what it is. We're gonna have fun anyway. E-brake. Oops. <laughs> I'm used to the electronic e-brake already from Type R. So what year is this car? It's a uh, 2013. 2013 Civic Si with a couple of modifications. We already went over that. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. Hopefully you guys can see me all right. You can have questions. So you, you've owned this car for how long now? I've had it for about a year and some change. About a year? And so his plans are, from what he tells me, to turbocharge it. So we've got a couple of gauges up here that are not really useful yet. It's AFR and turbo boost. But we don't have turbo boost yet because we don't have a turbo. Uh, he's going to be running with us next year at the track days. I can't wait. Me neither. <laughs> probably gonna be the last time I can drive this car as stock as soon it will be modified and this whole build is gonna be on YouTube Ridens, which I'm not too happy with. On what? Ridens. What's that? 
I don't know. <laughs> oh, those, those the brand of the tires? Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, no. Um, I might actually switch that up next uh, with uh, some RPF ones as well. All the way to red line. Oh yeah. I gotta say, I'm having a lot of fun with this car. This feels like an old school Honda. Surprisingly well for a stock. So much fun. The transmission is so easy to shift. <laughs> and your six speeds. So it's pretty good, man. So what's, what's been your experience so far with this car? Have you had a lot of fun with it? It's fun to drive, but from what I'm used to, it's a little slow for my taste. That's why I'm going boosted soon. Yeah, but, uh, it is. So even though you know it does have, I, I'm, I've been redlining it. It doesn't feel that fast. Yeah. It feels slower than I thought it should be. Oh, I love the redline. Oh yeah, this car's really fun already. <laughs> feels really good. You know, it's it's not that fast. You know, it's, I'm used to turbocharged engines of the Type R and 335B. You know, I'm used to the speed that those cars bring. This car, this is really a lot of fun. Let's go for a little uh, spirited drive around here. The suspension is actually really good. What'd you say the suspension was again? It's on uh, BCBR coilovers right now. Nice. It feels really good. It feels like you would do really well on a on an autocross track. Uh, you need uh, better tires, probably. I'll get maybe uh, some Toyo R Triple Eights or something like that. The exhaust is a little drony, but when you get on it, it sounds really good. So smooth to shift. So smooth. It reminds me a little bit of the Civic Hatch Sport that I used to own. It's a little better than that, but uh, the shifter kind of reminds me of that. He does have a long, kind of elongated shifter because uh, it makes it a little bit closer to the steering wheel. Yeah, it's easy to get in trouble on this thing. <laughs> it's so easy to shift. And it's so responsive. So he's got a Honda unit on this. Uh, what kind of flash has it got on it? It's a Flash Pro and it's running on their reflash at the moment. Um, it's a map tune that they have. Map tune, nice, okay. So it's a very simple tune they have. Uh, it probably gets rid of all the rev hang that it has, right? A little bit. Because this has like no rev hang at all. It's just very direct. It feels like a very old school Honda. It feels like my prelude a little bit, actually. I love shifting gears in this thing. <laughs> it's so much fun. This is a great daily driver. I can tell why people love to, uh, to buy these SIs. I can see myself driving this forever. This is awesome. The seats, really comfortable, not leather, they're kind of a, a rough cloth, but uh, they, they, you kind of fit into it really well. It bolsters is pretty good, you know, it's not as good as the Type R bolsters, of course, um, but for what it is, it's really good. Those, the two-tiered, uh, I guess you call it, dashboard, uh, is, is kind of weird at first, but you get used to it, it's not that bad. You know, you have like the, right now I have my fuel gauge on the right, I have my speed on the top, VTEC thing on the left and you got my RPM gauge right in the middle but you know as you're looking down the road it all kind of fits in together and actually I kind of like it I wouldn't mind having it at all a lot of people did not like it though yeah. uh, all the controls kind of fit really well I love that everything is kind of towards the driver uh, I love when cars do that it's really cool it's actually more driver oriented than the type R if you can believe it it's, everything is right there in front of you really nice you got it in the right color too I love it in the white. You that's, know me and my white Hondas. <laughs> that's the only way to get them, man. Yeah, man. Oh, it's so good. So easy to shift. Don't get rid of the shifter. At first when I saw the shifter, you know, the whole long pull thing, I was like, what is that? I like it, though. I like it a lot. 
heel toe shift. Heel toe shifting is so easy. Yeah, man, you you could get you become a really good driver with this car. I, I like it a lot. <laughs> All right, so finishing up here, my my final thoughts. Uh, very fun car, obviously Civic Si. You know, really great. I think it'd be really fun as a as a daily driver or a commuter car. Uh, you could definitely have a lot of fun in, in the track with a couple modifications. You know, you got to you know obviously upgrade the suspension and a couple other things. And uh, yeah, you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna be that fast of a car. Uh, it's you know it's using a K series engine around 200 horsepower. Even with a Honda Dynamic, it still feels a little bit slow. That's why a lot of people take these cars and supercharge them or turbocharge them, uh, which is uh, what Mugetsu is going to do. So, uh, yeah, that, that about wraps it up, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, before I finish up, one more pull. There we go. <laughs> oh, and the brakes. The brakes are amazing. I think upgraded brake pads, and you're all set. As always, guys, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.